Hi, this is Chris Billier from WPI, and I'm going to be explaining from uh, how to do bending calculations for three-point bending using the equations uh, that are given in the back of any textbook. Uh, so three-point bending, the load P is applied to this middle, the center of the beam symmetrically. This is L over 2, this is L over 2. These equations are cut from uh, Timoshenko's Mechanics and Materials book. So first thing we want to do to, uh, what we're trying to do is calculate the material parameters or the structural parameters from the measured behavior. So in the three-point bending test, you're going to get a force deflection curve, and it's going to look like this, and then there's going to be some yielding. Uh, and we're going to take the data and we can measure the bending stiffness. But how do we relate that to um, what the measured parameters? Well, this measured displacement equals the center, which equals the maximum displacement, which is given uh, by this equation here, and the force equals P given up here um, in, for the case of three-point bending. So you can calculate what del C is, that is V at L over 2, and V is the, the displacement uh, at any point in the beam. So when X equals L over 2, you have P L over 2 over 48 EI plugging these into the equation to the right here. And now that, that is that equation right there. And when we simplify that down, we get that that equals PL cubed over 48E. So that's del, or displacement at the center. And again, that is already given there in the plot. So you didn't have to calculate that. We just did that to show where that comes from. So for that linear initial region in the force displacement plot, uh, we, we get the stiffness. Well, what is that K? That's dp d del. Okay, that's in the, within the linear region. And that from the equation above, if I just rearrange and, and switch the dc with the um, P over del C, you get 48 EI over L cubed. So all I did was move the displacement to the denominator and put the 48 EI over L cubed on the other side. So that again is the bending stiffness. Now, another important parameter is EI, and we can just rearrange that equation there to get what EI is, and that is P over del C, L cubed over 48. So all I'm doing is again rearranging this equation over here to get that, and that equals that uh, slope of the force displacement curve in the linear region. And again, that is the bending structural stiffness. And then if I want the actual modulus of the material, P, I just divide the equation I just got, K L cubed over 48 by I. Um, and I could also write that as taking the K and um, pulling it out, the force over the deflection in the center, L cubed over 48 I, and that is the modulus. And that's an intrinsic property. Okay, so now that I have those, I also want to know what the strain is in my material. Um, and strain is equal to stress for a linear elastic material with it, which this bending analysis is predicated upon. OK, 
okay? And we know E from the last slide is equal to F del C Okay, so we just calculated what E was. Um, now what is sigma? That's M C over I, where for a cross section, C is the maximum distance from the neutral axis to the edge. And in this case, C is H over two if the full thickness is H. Um, what is the moment? Well, for three point bending, we've got force, reaction, we have F over two, it's symmetric. And then when we do our method of sections, we have our moment and our shear, uh, and we have F over two, the distance X. So moment equals the distance F over two times X. It's maximum at the center, and what I want to know this, I want it at the maximum, this is the max right here, so max equals F L over two is the center over two, which is F L over four. So if I plug those back in, I get that the strain, the flexural strain, is equal to, instead of sigma max, you can do F L over four. Instead of E, I can do F L cubed, I'm inverting it, del C 48, sorry. Uh, so the stress again was the moment F L over four times C over I. And the I's cancel, one of the L's cancels, and the F's cancel. And uh, 48 divided by 4 is 12, so you get 12 del C times C over L squared. Sometimes you'll see it as 6 del center over L squared and times the thickness of the material H because C is equal to H over 2. And those are the calculations you need to calculate the stress at uh, the maximum stress in the material, the bending stiffness, K, the bending structural stiffness, EI, and the modulus, E, and the flexural, max flexural uh, strain, EF.